What are the biggest differences between a PGA professional and a mid-handicap golfer who will struggle to shoot their handicap on a tough course off the back tees? Well today, I'm at the glorious Woodall Spa Hotchkin course, rated the 61st best course in the world in Golf Magazine's benchmark ranking. I'm playing with one of the top PGA professionals in the UK, Adam Keogh, who represented Great Britain and Ireland in the PGA Cup earlier this year. And with four DP World Tour appearances to his name this season, I can assure you he's a pretty handy golfer. Let's get into it. That was a glorious day, but not so much with the driver. A lot of swing thoughts at the moment. And on the range, it actually feels pretty good. And I'll take that off the tee, but on the course, it tends to go like that. So that was out of bounds the first hole we got the camera out. Adam on the tee, three wood in hand. Beautiful, penetrating ball flight. And just look how early he picks up that tee. Things you love to see. I re teed, focused, and was delighted to make contact with the ball. Wasn't a great swing, and missed the fairway by 40 yards, and found a tricky lie in this thick heather. Just look how far Adam is in front of me with his three wood. Effortless power. I chopped out with a seven iron and managed to find the fairway, but Adam was sitting pretty after his tee shot. It's quite windy today. Lots of different shot shapes from Adam, which was very impressive. Beautiful penetrating ball flight, and he found a piece of the green. I, however, was struggling, fifth shot, 58 degree out. The chance to get up and down for double bogey. That was a slightly better swing. Found a piece of the green and had a chance to walk away with some pride. Just look how big the greens are compared to where I normally play at Lincoln Golf Centre. I found them very tricky today. Adam, however, two shots to here chance for birdie and he takes it he moves to one under par and makes it look so simple I however couldn't even make triple put me down for an eight so as I couldn't find the planet with the driver I decided to play from Adam's tee shot to see how different my scoring would be if I was in a good position off the tee Adam was up first, 105, 54 degree wedge, hit a good shot, he said he hit the wrong club, he did find a piece of the green but just spun back into that bunker on the left, my go, I was eager to hit the green, get one up on him, 52 degree wedge, and I was happy with that swing, but didn't start it online, and I also found the bunker. So, both in a bit of trouble. 58 degree for Adam. Lovely sweeping bunker shot. Now for me, I'm just trying to get this up and over the lip. I haven't really got distance control with bunker shots in my wheelhouse at the moment. So I was pleased to get that one onto the green. And had a chance for par, but again, long 35 foot putt. And my pace control today was very off. Left a tester for the bogey. Adam, however, good chance to get up and down. And just denied by the lip. I think he made two, maybe three bogeys all day. That was very uncharacteristic for him to drop a shot. I had work left to do and missed again. So that's two, three putts in two holes, six over through two, Adam at level par driver back out for Mr Keogh high fade found the middle of the fairway it's just a joy to behold watching someone swing a club that well, I had a go with the driver struggling with a swing to be honest, I was in all sorts of trouble off the tee today, but that one actually found a piece of the fairway. But it was 60 yards back of Adam. And look at the difference in ball flight. 
I mean, they're not entirely accurate, but this is high penetrating power fade and my swing pass all over the place. This is one of the best shots Adam hit all day, 145 yards. That's pure. He said the miss was long. And that's where it landed. Shot. Found the green again. My turn. Seven iron. And that wasn't a great swing. I wasn't playing well, so just started swinging it worse and worse throughout the round, but somehow managed to find a piece of the green. So that's one green out of three. But again, if we look at the difference in ball flights, Adams is so controlled straight at the target line. Yep. My swing path and club face are all over the place. Shot. So, Adam with a chance for birdie. What impressed me most is it's not like he was hitting every shot to two or three feet. When he had long birdie putts, he put them to gimme range and he never struggled to make par. Whereas my pace putting, on the other hand, struggled to get it right. And as you can see with this putt, not really scaring the hole at all and just leaving that awkward three or four feet left for par. However, I was delighted to hold that one. So I managed to make a par from his ball, but if we just look at the difference in the stats, Adam hit every fairway, missed one green. He hardly missed a green all day, but teasy green, he was flawless, really. Again, it's not like he was bombing it down the fairway 360 yards and hitting it to two or three feet, but he just pieced his way around the golf course beautifully. But he never left himself a tester for par and when he had a long par. He'd cozy it up there and it was within gimme range. Me, however, a lot of three putts today. And when I did have three or four feet left, I'd miss 50% of them. And when you're swinging it like this in front of a pro, it's a real wake-up call. Work to do. See you again soon.